it just sort of naturally was super curious about why some dancers, when I started becoming a teacher, why some dancers seemed to improve and why some dancers didn't seem to improve. Because to me, I also had this need and still have this need to believe that every person can do anything that they set their mind to. I think I really believe that. I really believe if you keep going and you keep pushing, you will get there. And I don't know if I need to believe that for everybody in order for me to believe it for myself or if I truly, you know, if if that's a true statement, I don't know exactly where I fall on that spectrum at the moment. But the idea that you can put in work and get results is interesting because you see some people putting in work and not getting results and you wonder what's going on there. Why is this happening? And then you start to really talk to people because in my in my Denver studios, we had only three people per class. And so I would ask people questions like, what do you think about this? What do you feel about this? What do you feel in your body? And you would start to hear some repeated thoughts of if they were focusing on what wasn't important, those are the people who were not getting better. The people who are focusing on what they look like in the mirror, the people who are focusing on the bad day they had, the people who are focusing on um, that they would never be able to get it, that they're that they just have bad turnout, quote unquote, that they're just not flexible, that they won't be able to turn, that they aren't going to be able to figure this out or that that person had it easier. The people who seem to have those beliefs were the people who seem to not be improving. But the people who didn't even mention any of those things seem to be the ones who could learn the things. Because I'm thinking, you know, I'm teaching the same way to these people. How come some of them are getting it and some of them aren't? They look similar in ability to me. Like, why yeah. are some people getting this and what some people aren't? And so then I started to just wonder about that. And yeah. change my own messaging and see if I would teach them a different way with different words and, 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 you know, incorporate some of that into it. Would it help? And it's, you know, you see, well, that did help. Fascinating. And I, so I think it just sort of started going in that way. Um, I think that's kind of where it started. It was just like, yeah. why aren't you learning this? I need you to learn this. Like, I, mm. I need to figure out why you're not learning this. And let's learn it. Like, I don't, you can't not learn this. It, you know, I don't know if it was like desperation or something that led <laughs> me to start questioning, but I'm just like, you need to learn this and, and you're not learning it. And I know you can. So what is going on that you're yeah. not learning it? So what are you feeling? Why are you, what is this happening? What are you thinking about? What is your mind doing? And, you know, to start asking them, like, I don't know, everything I can see looks fine. So what's going on? <laughs> like, what's going on? It's, yeah, it's <laughs> so fascinating because this is breaking with the myth. Like, it seems like a paradox because you've just said how important hard work is, and it absolutely is. And at the same time, that work must be focused work in the right places. So these people coming for the same amount of classes in the studio for the same number of hours, doing the same exercises with the same teacher and getting very different results. And I always find it so fascinating when people, like, message me or whatever. It happens less now, but it used to happen a bit more before, like, how 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 long until I can do this thing? Yes. Or how how many classes until this thing? Or how how old would this thing? And I'm like, you know, the difference in learning from different people is so vast that it's impossible to put timescales on any of those things for all the reasons that you just explained. And it highlights so much the importance of. I mean, we could call it mindset. You could give it any name. You could give it any yep. name. It's just, yeah, another way, I guess, is where are you choosing to focus? Right. That's exactly it. I think that's exactly it. And, you know, it's so funny because you get, you know, I, people used to say, like, keep your legs low, don't have ego, you know, keep your legs low and mm. work on your turnout. And I'm like, I don't have an ego. I don't even think I'm good at this. How could I possibly, yeah. you know, like I thought <laughs> ego meant you, you know, you were like full of yourself. And so I never understood what they were saying. Um, you know, it would try for as high as possible, even though my leg wasn't correctly turned out. Um, or, you know, a teacher would say like, pull up more. And I'm like, I already did pull up. I can't, you know, and it would just, I would come at it with that mindset of they're like, turn out more. And I'm like, I already turned out my legs as if it was a thing you could do once and be done with it. But it's (laughs) not. And, you know, when you, when you say people like, you know, stand taller, when you say it to a group of people, you are saying every person as a teacher you are saying every person right now has the capability to stand taller. I don't care how tall you are standing. You have the capability to stand a little taller because gravity has the capability to pull you a little lower and it just did. So stand taller. But for me, in a, as a dancer in a group class, I thought I already stood tall. I'm good. That must not be meant for me. And I didn't really ask questions of like, could I stand taller? Could I turn out more? Because I just assumed that I already did. And I did my best and I always do my best at everything. So since I already did my best, there must be nothing more to give. How could they possibly be asking me to give more? Cause I always give my best at everything I do. Um, and so yeah. for me, it was like, you know, a very difficult to accept those, 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 those corrections because I was 
offended or something that maybe they thought I wasn't giving my best or they thought I wasn't yeah. trying or they thought I wasn't, you know, and I, and everyone has their own thing they're coming from with their mind. But when you're focusing on the fact that you're art, that you're worried that you're not good enough, then you get a correction that says stand taller. And you're like, well, I already stood taller. You know, I'm not going to, that's not, for yeah. me, right. But it's yeah. like, that's not, no, 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 that's not the, that's not what you should be focusing on. You should be focusing on like, could I stand taller? Mm, not that time, but maybe next time, you know, that that's like more. Yeah the curiosity, I think that that makes you learn it. And so I think the mind, um, what you what you focus on is, is key. When someone says something to you, how do you react to it? They say stand taller, you say I already did, you will not improve in that moment. Yeah, you've shut down the possibility for improvement. If someone says stand taller, and you think how, why? I wonder why I need to stand taller. I just I, I feel like I was what am I missing? You know, if if you're starting to ask questions about curiosity. Yeah. um, I think this you then is, open the door, maybe not in that moment, but like, you know, in, in down the road, the questions you ask yourself after a situation help you focus on what you, on how you get to the next place. Yeah, this is absolutely key. It was everything you just said re- resonated so much with me. I had the same reaction to like some corrections. I had the same feeling of like defensiveness of having Mm -hmm. to be like no but I am trying no but I am doing my best no but this no but that and um yeah in those moments exactly as you said I there was something that had shut down and I think you drew out a really interesting paradox there between the ego because that is the ego in the end the ego is the one that's like I have to defend myself I'm being attacked etc etc like whatever else and and then at the same time this sensation of I'm not good enough so it's like well this can't be coming from my ego because I also simultaneously feel like I'm not good enough therefore right. I'm not arrogant and you know yeah. and it's it's so interesting to like live with those two things simultaneously in the body <laughs> like isn't it so curious but I feel like exactly as you said that curiosity is the antidote for that yep. curiosity is the antidote and and I mean, also for me, as being on the other, you know, it's, 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 isn't it so interesting being both on the teacher side and then also on the student side? But on the student side, also coming to the realisation that I was allowed to be having a, a different experience than what my teacher 